when you look back now, uh, being an Asian leader who has played on the global stage in, in you know, many different roles in Asia, as well as in the US uh, and, in, and in the UK, um, what, what role do you think Asian leaders can or should play uh, on the global business stage? Uh, you know, what kind of unique contributions an Asian leader like yourself might be able to, uh, to make to, uh, to a global business? Yeah, no, that, again, great question, because, you know, I, I think Asian leaders have a, a unique perspective, uh, having, um, you know, either grown up in Asia or having Asian values or Asian family surrounding them. Uh, and the, I can think of four or five key things and attributes I think um, Asian leaders would bring to the global stage. Um, you know, the first one is uh, what I call foresight. I really, really believe I've having worked in the US and Europe and Asia, uh, Asians and Asian leaders uh, have foresight of and the ability to look around corners and connect the unconnected more than uh, leaders who have worked in one geography and particularly the developed world geography where things change, but change slowly and uh, and there are not so many changes uh, which require you to look around corners and be able to anticipate change. And also, when there is no pattern, which is what we, we experience uh, that, in many... That's the world issues. we live in today, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are very few patterns. But if you have the ability to connect the unconnected and create a pattern or, or land on a pattern of what is happening, I think you build you, you use that foresight which I think is an innate, innate ability Asian leaders have. So, so how do we focus on that particular attribute of foresight and build on that from a professional point of view is one, one, one particular um, you know, unique contribution I think Asian leaders can play. Um, the other one is you know, the ability to build unique organization cultures, which I think are way beyond the contractual employer-employee relationship which you find mostly in the developed world, right? It's a contractual employer-employee relationship. Uh, I believe Asian leaders on the global stage can build cultures which have a foundation of family values because that's how you know they have been brought up, and the family means a lot. So how do you how do you think about using your family values and the concept of mindfulness, which obviously you know comes uh, a lot from Asia? Uh, and those are the two pillars, I would call them, of organization culture building, which Asian leaders can really use to build unique cultures in their organizations globally. And I've mm -hmm. seen that happen. I've seen that happen with um, you know, um, leaders of Google or Microsoft and Adobe, uh, where there are uh, there are leaders who come from Asia, but are building a culture which is a culture which is, you know, focused on... More, connect, more on, connected, more you know, people more connections, connected. I guess. That, that, that's right, that's right. The, the third area is, you know, I would say uh, driving innovation. I think that's really key because, uh, as they say, you know, scarcity is the mother in, of uh, invention or innovation. And when you have constrained resources, you have to find ways around it to solve problems. You know, as they say, when the tide is low, the rocks show, right? Uh, and when the rocks show, you do something about it. If the, the tide is high, the rocks don't show, and you you don't feel the need to kind of change stuff. And that's why I think creativity, driving innovation, is again something which just comes naturally to uh, many Asian leaders. And you can drive more innovation at a global stage if you have that kind of mindset of using mm -hmm. scarcity. And that helps not only in times of growth and boom times, but even in times when things are not um, doing well, uh, global economies are not doing well. Yeah. Um, you know, having that mindset of innovation, using scarcity as, a, as an advantage, I think is really important to driving innovation. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, the other area I feel Asian leaders really, um, again, can use is adaptability. Because uh, as an Asian, you, you are experiencing the scale and pace of change nowhere else in the world, in the developed world, especially in the US and Western Europe. Uh, and therefore, uh, you know, Asian leaders uh, innately are more agile and adaptable because 
changes everywhere around them. I mean, it's, and everything is changing at a scale and a pace, which is way beyond uh, anywhere else in the world. So, so, you, so the, that, uh, the sense of adaptability is, I think, key for them to be adaptable personally and also build teams which are agile and adaptable and comes naturally, I think. And last but not the least, I, I would say for Asian leaders is, uh, you know, uh, there's a unique contribution they can make. And that is to bridge the, what I believe is the growing economic divide between the haves and the have nots across the world. Because Asian leaders come from countries where many people are living um, literally below the poverty line. And responsibility, I would say, uh, to kind of help bridge that economic divide, which is causing not only economic issues, but social issues around the world. And that's where Asian mm -hmm. leaders can play a big part. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's very true, very interesting. So thank you. Thank you for sharing those insights.